As many of you know, I love to restore furniture. Recently, this tempered glass table was brought in and I was wondering how I could enhance it. After a while, I decided to do a reverse spray. First of all, I do a cutout sticker in reverse and I stick it at the bottom. J Rod Originals. I've been using this handle for a lot of my stuff recently. Next, we brought the glass out into the garden, face it in an inverse manner so that we can spray the bottom. But as you can see, the rain came and the whole ground was wet and I just had to wait for the rain to stop before we dry the glass and ready to spray on. And that took quite a while because each time we thought we were ready, the rain came down again. But after a while, the rain did stop and we cleaned the table and we were ready for the spray. So take a can of spray, in fact I bought 4 cans and I hold it about uh, 12 inches away from the glass and then spray in a quick and even manner. No, it doesn't look so even does it. Make sure it doesn't blotch and be really patient. So about 5 minutes later and one full can of spray later, the glass started to take its shape. As you can see from this transparent stage, it eventually started to cover itself and it looked quite black. But you know what? The first can of spray, it ran out and you just got to discard it. So I threw it away because I know someone has to go and pick it up later and that someone is me. It looks a bit blotchy right now but don't worry because it will dry very quickly and so we just wait for paint to dry. Wait for it to dry. In fact I use about two cans of spray paint and then when we flip over, well wow, it looked quite good. So we brought it back to the kitchen and then I was so excited just to record how the look goes that I forgot to put on the protective sticker because there's some suction cup at the bottom and if you don't want to, the paint to rip up so I use some vinyl stickers to protect the paint as we lay the glass panel onto the frame. So that's me and my eldest boy and there we go we lay it down so if anyone's interested to buy this j-rod original just drop me a note but the question is why do i do this could i get someone to restore it could i just afford a new table i could but this is about doing the things that you like and getting a great sense of satisfaction from it and that's how you remain happy 90 percent of the time